Hi guys, so today is Saturday and our journey begins at Manchester Airport. The first leg of our flight is to Dublin and then from Dublin to San Francisco. Once we arrived at Dublin Airport, we had a couple of hours spare before our next flight. But Elsie loved the moving walkways and this kept her entertained the entire time. <laughs> By about 1pm we were in the air and on the way to San Francisco. Getting Elsie to sleep on the plane was a real struggle and in total she only had about three to four hours sleep. So by the time we arrived at the airport we were all extremely tired. Once we'd arrived at the airport and picked up our bags, we then had to take the air train to the rental car garage. And then once we were there and once we found the car, everything went really, really smoothly and we were soon on our way to our first accommodation. So this is our first accommodation in San Francisco. We've just unpacked the car um, and I think we're just going to have something to eat and then just try and stay awake for as long as possible before heading to bed. Good morning guys, so we've been awake since about 3 o'clock this morning. We did try to get Elsie back to sleep but she's just not having any of it. It's about half four now so we're just going to get up and have some breakfast. Once it was a more reasonable hour, we got our bags packed for the day and then headed to our first stop. We spent well over an hour here just taking in the views and taking lots of photos. Elsie loved throwing the gravel around which made for some super cute photos. And then on the way back to the car we had a look around Battery Spencer. After that we headed into the city and our first stop was Lombard Street. We then went to a little cafe for some lunch and then headed down to Pier 39. We saw the sea lions, which Elsie absolutely loved. Say hi, give them a wave. Hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> good girl. And then a mirror maze too. And then we decided to call it a day about two o'clock because we were just all so tired and we needed to do a shop on the way back to the accommodation as well. <laughs> Shall I get you some milk? Would you like some milk? Yeah. Yeah, should we have some milk? Yeah. Some breakfast. The next morning we were up pretty early again, so we had showers and things, we got the bags packed, we even did some washing, 
and then we were back on the road by about ah. half ten. So today we are heading to our next accommodation near Yosemite National Park. It's about a four hour drive in total, so we stopped about halfway for some lunch and to stock up on snacks. A tractor! Once we were at the accommodation, we just chilled out by the pool, cooked some dinner, and then had an early night ready for an early start in the morning. So the next morning, we got up at about five, we had some breakfast, packed our bags, and then we headed off to Yosemite. First, we headed up to Glacier Point, which was absolutely the right decision. It was so quiet, the sun had only just risen, and it was absolutely stunning. Dad! Dad! You say hi. She's gonna try to pull it. We then headed down into the valley. We stopped at Tunnel View for a couple of photos, but it was really busy, so we didn't stay very long. We then parked up and started a little loop around the meadows. Elsie was so tired, she actually ended up falling asleep on me, which was super cute. Elsie was in a much better mood when she woke up, so after that we found a spot by the river and had a picnic. We then headed out of Yosemite and on the way back to our accommodation we called at Mariposa Grove. So today is day five. Waking up to these views has been absolutely incredible and I am definitely going to miss it. We have a long day of driving again today so we headed off quite early. We had to drive back into Yosemite and then from here we headed on to Tioga Pass which luckily opened up in July, which is the latest it's opened in over 40 years, which is crazy. About halfway across the pass, we stopped at Wallamy Meadows for some food and the views were absolutely stunning. We then carried on our journey to our next stop. Our next stop was Mammoth Lakes Hot Springs. We almost didn't stop here because we were just so tired and I'd forgot to get our swim stuff out and it was all at the bottom of the suitcases. But I'm so glad that we did because the water was amazing and we all absolutely loved it. Look at that, look at that. Are you getting daddy? 
after this, we stopped at a diner for some food and then headed to our next accommodation in Lone Pine. So today we were meant to be exploring Death Valley, um, but it's actually shut at the moment due to flooding, ironically. So we're having to take a bit of a detour around and I have found a town that sounds pretty interesting. So we're gonna go check that out. So this is Goldfield. It was once one of the largest towns in Nevada and it was the site of a major gold rush in the early 1900s. However, after the gold rush ended, parts of the town and a lot of businesses were destroyed by fires and floods. So now there's only about 250 people still living here. We had a good look around and then we headed to a diner for some food, which also had a mini Pac-Man machine, which Elsie and Nick absolutely run loved. Run away from the ghosties, run! Oh no! After this, we headed to the International Car Forest, which lies just outside of Goldfield. This was really unusual and really interesting to look around and Elsie really enjoyed it. Daddy's coming in a minute. We then headed to our next accommodation, had some dinner and had an early night ready for a full day in Vegas tomorrow. Vegas was part of the trip that I almost wasn't looking forward to because neither myself or Nick are city people but we both actually really loved it here and would definitely come back and stay for longer. We decided to get the monorail back to our hotel because we were all exhausted. We didn't get back until about 9pm which was way past Elsie's bedtime and in total we'd walked about 12 miles today so we just couldn't wait to get into bed. Today is day 8, we are driving to Hurricane today and stopping at Valley of Fire State Park on the way. This is Petroglyph Canyon Trail, it's only a short walk and the views are out of this world, I'm really really glad that we decided to stop here. After this, we headed to Walmart for some supplies and then on to our motel in Hurricane. Good morning guys, so today we are visiting Zion National Park and we are going to be hiking the Canyon Overlook Trail. Thank you. 
We arrived at the trail head just before 7 o'clock and we only just managed to get a parking space. So if you do do this hike, I do recommend getting here quite early. I absolutely love this hike. The views were absolutely incredible in every direction. And once we reached the overlook, I was absolutely blown away. It was just amazing. We then had some snacks and then Elsie actually fell asleep on the way back to the car. On the way back to the hotel, we stopped at a little petting zoo um, called Fort Zion, which Elsie absolutely loved. We then headed back to the hotel, chilled out by the pool and had an early night. So today we are heading to Bryce Canyon. As you can see here by the snow on the side of the road, it's getting colder the further east we're heading. It's about 5 degrees at the moment and you can definitely see signs of autumn on the way. Bryce Canyon was absolutely incredible. Um, I've never seen anything like it before. Unfortunately, we didn't stay too long because it was so cold and Elsie wanted to walk a lot today and the path was quite sketchy in places. So after this, we then headed to our next accommodation in Page. Once we'd unpacked our bags at the hotel, we stocked up on some food and then headed to Horseshoe Bend for sunset. So today we have a tour of Lower Antelope Canyon um, and you're not allowed to take videos in there so I'll just have to show you the photos instead. After this, we then headed to Monument Valley. We stopped to take some photos at Forest Gump Point and then we took the Monument Valley Loop Drive down to John Ford Point. It was quite busy here and really touristy, so we didn't stay too long, but we did have the most amazing Navajo taco here as well. After this, we then headed to our hotel in Tuba City Elsie fell asleep on the way there, which meant that getting her to bed took a very long time. So today we are visiting the Grand Canyon. We stopped at maybe three or four different viewpoints on the South Rim. It was incredible to see it in person. Um, you really Hi, don't baby. get the scale just from looking at photos. After this, we then headed down to our next accommodation in Sedona. Hi. 
So in the evening, after Elsie was in bed, me and Nick just sat outside and looked up out of the Milky Way, which was incredible. Today we are hiking to Devil's Bridge, which is probably one of the most popular hikes in Sedona. But it is only half six at the moment, so I'm hoping it's not going to be too busy. Despite how busy the hike was, it was still definitely worth it. After this, we then headed into Sedona for some food and a look around the shops and then later in the evening we went to the secret slick rock trailhead for sunset so today the plan is to drive route 66 to kingman which is where our next hotel is we stopped off at a couple of places along the way and then headed to our hotel where we just chilled out by the pool most of the afternoon. The next day we continued along Route 66 to Oatman. I really loved looking around here, it was like we'd just travel back in time a hundred years. We looked around all of the shops, we looked around the old jail cells and then we looked around an old mine as well. By midday it was about 40 degrees and we were all just so hot and sweaty so we jumped back in the car, put the aircon on and continued to our next accommodation in Bakersfield. We had some food at a diner next door to our hotel and then we had an early night ready for lots of driving again tomorrow. So today is our last full day in America and we are visiting Sequoia National Park. We drove through the famous tunnel log and then we stopped at the Parker Group. <laughs> And then our next stop was General Sherman, which is the largest tree in the world. None of these videos or photos do this tree justice. Unless you stood next to it, you can't really grasp the scale of how big this tree is. It's just incredible. We then headed to our last motel, which is just on the outskirts of San Francisco. So it's our last morning in America and we are on the way back to the airport. 
I must admit I was anxious about doing this trip with a toddler but I can honestly say it's been the most unforgettable trip I think we've ever been on and honestly I would do it all again tomorrow if I could. I am hoping that if there are people out there watching this that have children and are maybe too scared to do a trip like this that this video might put their mind at ease and encourage them to give it a go because it's just been such an incredible experience for all of us and even though Elsie probably won't remember it when she's older I'll still have these photos, videos and all these amazing memories to share with her.